After a spectacular drive along the plains of this big sky country, we spied the Hungry Rangers, the site of our next challenge. Well, fellas, I think the time has come. We've been four-wheel driving for quite a few days now. I think I've prepared you well enough for Pat's Peak. I'm concerned mainly for your vehicle, not the one you're driving, the one I'm driving. Actually, I don't think bogging is such an issue on this track, but um, possibly rolling down the hill sideways <laughs> might be. Oh, good. Well, as long as we're not getting bogged, who cares, right? Okay, that's got me um, <coughs> piqued my interest now. There's a whole lot of flat plains that we've just driven through, but um, yeah, they do have some particularly steep and gnarly inclines and declines. The nice thing about this track, Pat's Peak, is that um, it's reasonably easy-ish to climb up, but it's coming down, that's when it gets a bit sketchy. So you've got to be really on your guard, and it's the sort of track where you don't want to freak out, you just want to kind of gently guide your vehicle and control it to the bottom. And it is one of those tracks that I actually don't think it could really be successfully driven back the other way. It's very much a one-way downhill roller coaster. Let's see how it is. That's uh, that does sound a bit challenging. My apologies if your insurance premium goes up after this uh, this little track, mate. <laughs> uh, mate, I'm sure we'll be fine. We we have two competent four-wheel drivers uh, at the helm, and Josh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I was going to swear, but I can't swear. This is steep already and we've just entered it. Straight away we are into it. It is a rough and rocky ride, that's peak, uh, but very, very enjoyable. Puts a big smile on your face. We're looking at a rocky track that uh, does have a fair bit of traction, so the uh, F-150 is loving it right now. I'm very cognizant of the fact that last time we attempted a track like this, I was in this here very vehicle, the next-gen Ford Everest, and what happened was, Catastrophe. I put a massive hole in the fuel tank and I went nowhere, sat by myself on the side of a hill while the boys went and had fun. I'm really hoping nothing like that happens today. This is getting back on the horse. So boys, how do you like my track so far? This is a climb and a half. <laughs> and getting worse, or better. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is definitely delivering. It is so fun. I've just got this giant grin on my face because, yeah, it's it's fun, it's steep. Check out the view to your left-hand side. Incredible. Oh, man, I'm so happy at the moment. Oh, mate, I'm so glad to hear it. I, uh, I was actually meaning to ask, though, how are the nerves? Dream truck, steep track. Well, yeah, and you've sort of got to pick some lines up here, as you'll notice. There's... Uh, yeah, there's a few different ways of doing it, but um, and the rocks around here have this really sharp, uh, yeah, sharp edge to them. So, have done some carnage on this uh, track in the past with some differentials. So, be gentle. Roger that. Well, that view is spectacular, and these cars are loving it. So am I. Holy cow! This is this is a challenge. I've got to say, this is one of the most fun tracks um, that I have driven all season, and we've done some crackers. And uh, I'm not just saying that because it's got my name on it, I'm saying that because this is just a ripping track. I am just in awe. <laughs> you look out the window and it feels like I'm the pilot of an aeroplane or something because I can't see any track, it's just all sky. <laughs> oh, that's it, man. So, so fun. Yeah, I haven't even put a hole in the fuel tank yet. <laughs> That's a first. I'm carrying heaps of soap, it's alright. 
We'll plug it. Well, I think we're up. Oh my goodness. That's a cracker. Ah, uh, isn't it just so fun. That is, it's proper exhilarating, isn't it, fellas? Mate, exhilarating is the word. I think Eminem wrote a song about this. Knees weak, palms are sweaty. <laughs> he did, he did. Oh, let's get out and soak it up, hey? Fellas, what do you reckon? Not a bad view up the top? Oh my God, mate, it is cracker. But seriously, I felt like we were in a plane taking off because you got that vertical and then it's, um, no more words. <laughs> what about you, mate? Oh, it was staggering, mate. It just, that just came out of nowhere. Coming off that plane and then just gradually moving into probably the steepest consistent track I've ever driven. Really? Steepest? Yeah. Wow. Well, wow. consistent, yeah. yeah. Well, it's just, I was looking at the sky nearly most of the time. <laughs> Fantastic. But the view when you're coming up is just oh. nuts, isn't it? I mean, it's not often that you can actually find, especially on the east coast of Australia, you know, tracks that are kind of bare off the side that just open up the whole scenery for you. So, oh man, I love it. It is, for me, it's very surreal driving, you know, my dream truck up a track with strangely my name <laughs> it's a, it's a funny thing i thought you had to be dead for someone to name something after you but uh that's pretty cool i can see why you're so happy about it we've come up to a peak guys uh what goes up yeah. must come down <laughs> i've been thinking about that i i can't even see where it goes <laughs> believe me um you know if the heart was racing coming up it's going to be racing uh maybe even more going down all right well let's do it okay radio okay thank you mate I think deep down, little boys never grow up. And I think as an adult, if you can tap in to the childhood spirit in yourself, you will probably find some great joy. I know that I have. And nowhere more than right now, I can really feel that. This is the car that I played with as a matchbox car when I was about four or five years old. And what do you know, as an adult, when I'm driving these fun, challenging, articulating four-wheel drive tracks, I find myself with some of the most plain, clear joy that I have had in weeks, months, years. And it seems silly and it seems childish that I would get so much joy out of this, but I do. So if you are anything like me, whether it's riding a motorbike, driving a four-wheel drive, jumping on a horse, whatever it is that gives you that joy, tap into it, folks. Life's short. This track just has me ecstatic. It, it's the feeling that got me hooked on four-wheel driving in the first place, and I found it again on, believe it or not, Pat's Peak. This track absolutely delivers. If I can offer you any tips on this track, it is all about wheel placement and tire pressures because you will be scrabbling for traction at times and if you don't get your tires in the right place, you could really stake them. And likewise, you could also really uh, damage the underbody of your four-wheel drive. One of the guys that I traveled on this particular track with previously actually staked the differential, the diff pumpkin of the vehicle. So very easy to do some damage, but if you take it easy, nice and slow and measured, you'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> and you'll have a rollicking little roller coaster of a time. Okay, now for the really challenging part of this track. And like so many of the tracks around here at Bendelby, You've really, you'll notice my head going up all the time and that's because I'm just peering over the bonnet because it's a single lane, kind of a goat track and it is quite difficult to work out where you're going a lot of the time. So uh, you, you're always sort of scrambling for some, uh, some, a better view of the track. And I'm coming down to a nice little hairpin here and for a vehicle of my length, this is interesting indeed. <laughs> Very challenging, but we'll see if we can sneak around the corner. There goes the sensors. But I think I'm going to make it around. Wow. Oh, just slipping, sliding up onto a rock. Oh, beautiful. So we haven't hit terra firma yet, in my underbelly anyway. But 
big rig's doing fine. Obviously, I'm in low range first gear. I've popped her into manual mode so that I'm stuck in first gear. And uh, first part of the hill's going fine. The next part, well, she is, whoa, she's a bit sketchy. Stick my head out. We have a line, <laughs> whether it's the right line or not, who knows, my goodness. This is steep and scrabbly, so the rocks are moving under the tyres, I can feel them, but the Coopers are grabbing pretty well, so that's okay. I haven't hit yet, very nice, very nice, bit of a bounce, lovely, 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 okay. Okay, it's getting sketchier by the second, this track. I think I have a line. <laughs> oh man, this is, this is funny. This is sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna change my line and go down this way. Let's see how I go. really hit anything under the car yet. This is the joys of running 35 inch tyres. I've just been told my adaptive cruise is not available. Funny that. Oh wow. I have to say that that was a really really challenging decline. Very steep but the F-150 just ate it and spat it out. It said, give me a bigger challenge. I need it. <laughs> That's nothing for me. God bless you, little Effie. <laughs> Big Effie. Graham, who's a seasoned professional, scooted down behind me in the Ranger. Josh, however, was feeling a little more trepidatious, bringing the shorter wheel-based Everest down. Folks, I don't know what has happened. I just watched the boys drive that track and I just had a mass of self-doubt wash over me. I don't want to damage Pat's vehicle. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to delay a shoot. I want to get this show out to you guys. This is scary stuff. I've got to tell myself that I've done it before and it's going to be all right. In the end, this will be a good memory. Holy sh That's where the Everest wheelbase does come in handy. Everyone else did a three-pointer there, not me. I am in hill descent control, low range, first gear. Doing my best to idle. Remember, we don't want to be riding brakes too hard. That's just going to take away steering. Okay. Come on, Josh, you've got this. You crawl rocks for a living. Okay, I'll call it. That's genuinely the most fearful I've ever been for driving. <laughs> That's just insane. The cameras will never do this justice. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I don't know. Oh. 
a solid drive down from Josh, but the fun ain't over yet. We've got another scrabbly ridge line to conquer. Sometimes you forget the edge is there and then you remember. I don't like remembering. This is a long way down, folks. Not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. All those with heart conditions, actually, probably. One final hairy descent from Pat's Peak. And this one is another good one. And another one where you really want to pick the right line so that you protect your vehicle. So, uh, down I come. Christen it somehow, don't you? But really, I mean, it does have buckets of clearance, buckets of traction. This car does, oh man. I'd often wondered just how capable these American rigs are on Aussie tracks, but this vehicle is really giving me bucket loads of confidence. The lateral stability, the long wheelbase just feels planted on the four wheel drive track all the time and it is proper confidence inspiring. I mean, this track is challenging, it's hard. They call it a 10 out of 10 track here on Bendleby and it's because of those hills I've just driven. But the F-150, not challenged, not challenged. I then guided Graham down, who had a few choice words of his own for this track. just doesn't stop. This one is the last hurdle to tackle and if anything in my mind it looks twice as bad as the one that had me shaking in my boots before so let's see how we go. part where your brain says you've got to let go of the brake and you just don't want to. Oh, that, it's going to be gross. <laughs> oh. Patsky's track just keeps giving. Well driven guys. How lucky am I to have such a brilliant track bear my name and to be able to drive it in my dream truck. The F-150 is the absolute cherry on top.